Do not, don't pay any attention to Strawberry London sitting over there. Just so you know. Strawberry, there's a debug setting for that. I guess we should probably go ahead and get started today. Um, welcome to uh, the uh, July Concierge and uh, Land User Group. We're really honored you could join us today. Um, I want to apologize for the lack of meetings recently as both SL 21B and a vacation took our meetings away. But hey, we're back. So wonderful to have you. It's always tricky this time of year. We have the birthday and all of the events around that. Um, we even had to cancel one of those, but that's going to be rescheduled as well. So, you know, we're starting to get back into it after after 21B. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, SL20B you know, just wrapped up last week uh, with both our community events and the shop and hop closing uh, just last Sunday. I hope that everyone got a chance to partake and enjoy. Did everyone have a lot of fun at 21B? Did you check it out? Very cool. I'm a sucker for all the freebies and everything. I think that everyone does such a great job. Um, of course, we did have a lot of, you know, I mentioned we had town halls and other discussions, um, and we shared a whole lot of news. And uh, we'd like to go over some of that today, um, just in case you missed it or fill in any gaps that you might not have gotten or not heard. Uh, and first, the first Personally, I go for the exhibits. Yeah. I, I have a soft spot for the exhibits too. Long history, long history. Um, so we do have a lot in the works on Linden Homes, um, including plans for an update to our premium log cabin theme, uh, to the floor plans on those. Uh, some new themes yet to come. Uh, we also would like to give, you would like you to give us some feedback on the themes uh, that you may want to see come to Belisaria. Uh, we're having a discussion in our forums at that address. Um, and we'd, you know, love to hear what, what you'd like to see for themes coming down the line, uh, that kind of idea. Um, you know, we're actually kind of in the, the final poll phase even of, of Linden Home theme selection. Uh, there's a, a theme poll there as well. Uh, please, by all means, uh, check those out. Uh, have your voice heard. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and as always, um, not only uh, new themes, but more London homes overall have been rolling out. Uh, with an increase in the number of available 2048 Mediterranean ranch homes. Um, and as well as more Victorians and stilts. Um, We've been putting out a whole bunch more homes. I was actually, uh, just before the meeting, I was in an area we're working on. Um, additionally, uh, the Belisari landmass has once again connected to the, the rest of the mainland, uh, this time uh, connecting to the Sansara continent, uh, providing sailing opportunities from the earliest mainland regions out to Belisari and beyond. Um, I did hear one resident recently was boasting to me about uh, making a sailing from, I believe it was uh, beyond just uh, Bay City area up to um, uh, the Blake Sea. So really good size run uh, to make that. And uh, if by chance you're looking for a Linden home of your own, uh, please feel free to check out the selector. Um, that's here. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also request um, any available Linden home style through the support portal. Uh, issue type is Land and Region uh, slash Linden Homes. Uh, you can also preview all of our Belisaria Linden home styles. Uh, in the Belly Demo region, B-E-L-L-I-D-E-M-O. Um, you can look at them all there. You can try the 
uh, home controllers to scroll through all the different styles. It's a lot of fun to dig through that. Yeah, there's so many different options. It's actually a lot of fun to kind of look and uh, window shop as to what kind you think you want to get. Absolutely, because it's, it's it's so much easier to be able to to go there, look through all the different styles of homes, and you know, kind of make an informed choice there. Because we only really show one representative for each style um, on the website, so it's just so much easier to sit there and and really dig in, and you might find something that you didn't know we had. It'll fit you perfectly. Wendy, can I have two Linden homes? No, you Aww. can't. Well, okay, Izzy, you can have two Linden homes, one for you and one for another Premium Plus account or Premium. Oh, account. fine. Okay. Want me to talk about communities? Sure. Go for it. So I don't know uh, how many of you have been to our welcome area lately. Have any of you been to the Welcome Hub? Wait, I, don't have, I, I don't count. Don't I inherit the lab because I'm a Linden? <laughs> uh, basically, in the welcome area, we have a somewhat new community hub with the Second Life Community Exhibition. Uh, features a bunch of small builds designed by and for our various in-world communities, giving a space for our residents to present a view of their community groups and areas and to help our new residents find a place to call home within Second Life. Over the past almost year, we've been rolling this out in phases, expanding on the space as we need to, uh, and soon we're going to include our third and not really final, but final to fill the area community build. Uh, and there'll be a gift spire for the communities to provide goodies for old and new residents. The phase three release is on August 15th. It will be including the largest of the uh, parcels. Uh, and it, like I said, it'll have those freebies for the exhibitors. Here is a swirl to the actual community exhibition. But if you have a community that you'd like to see included, um, or you're a leader in a community and want yours to be included, please fill out the form here to get your community added. Um, there's a lot of interactive things that are kind of came, one that came out in the last phase and several in the newest phase um, from riding horses to riding bikes. Uh, there is a Segway that you can ride. It's all sorts of uh, uh, fun things that you can do uh, and some photo opportunities as well. And while this is controversial to some people, it's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, we have um, both help groups in the uh, community exhibitions now, and we have, um, uh, what's the right word for it? Ah, my brain just went completely blank at the same time. Um, but like I said, we, we put help groups in, oh, and also uh, building groups to teach people how to build and stuff too. So it really is, in my opinion, helping a lot of the different ways that people, or in different reasons that people come into Second Life. They come to find a community. Well, we've got lots of different communities of all different kinds uh, represented there. They come because they have issues with the real world and feel safer in uh, the Second Life or the virtual world, in which case we've got these help groups uh, that are there that will help uh, those people. Or they join to play games. There's lots of game type things there. Or they learn, or they come to learn and or uh, start a career uh, within Second Life. And so we've got the builder uh, groups that uh, teach all sorts of classes and stuff there. So, you know, there's really a lot of opportunities. But if you think that there's a niche that is important to Second Life that isn't representative, definitely fill out that form above so that way we can get 
even more. Now, starting with the next phase after August, we're going to start cycling. So we'll be, you know, rotating some out. Not that they'll be gone. They may rotate back in. Uh, but, you know, changing up maybe every few months. If I would say anywhere from two to six months will change out, you know, who's there. So it's constantly fresh for people to go ahead and explore. And I jumped right over uh, the other conversation, didn't I, uh, Wendy? I was wondering about that, but you know, <laughs> I'll let you. You know, That'll as, as penance, <laughs> as penance, I'll make you talk about mobile. Okay, Second Life Mobile. Has anybody checked out Second Life Mobile lately? It it is so. I mean, I'll, I will be. I'll admit, I've been uh, with the lab since February of 2007. So I'm an old timer when it comes to the lab. Not that there aren't those of you that are a little older, um, but there are um, so many things about Second Life that are amazing. But my expectation was kind of. Eh, we're going to go to mobile. Yes, it's important. Yes, I think it's a really good thing. But how great can it be represented uh, in that capacity? And I was blown away. I love what we have done uh, with mobile so far. I mean, obviously, we do need to, you know, do more. Bunny, that might make it a little harder, unless it's one of those two-screen flip phones. Um, but it, we have gone so far. Um, already, and we've got a long way to go, but we're eager for the challenge. Uh, it's launched on both iOS and Android. It can be found, obviously, in, uh, for the Apple and the Google Play Store. So far, it's being called a beta because we're still adding more features as it goes along. But I would definitely recommend if you haven't had a chance to check it out and you're a premium or premium plus account, absolutely go and give it a try. It is definitely worth it. Uh, one thing we do want to point out, of course, is due to Apple constraints, adult content currently can't be accessed via the iOS version of the viewer. It's an unfortunate situation. We're doing what we can uh, to make all of Second Life available, but right now, as it stands, that's a particular line in the sand that Apple has drawn that we're negotiating and working with. Uh, you can learn more about Second Life Mobile as well as the community parties that are in the works here uh, and we do want your feedback on the mo mobile viewer because like I said it is a beta and so we do want you know you to fill out uh, a feedback form if you find any issues and that is located here uh, also at these parties and I'm gonna let you know a little bit of mud that's on my face at the moment but there are these kiosks at these mobile launch parties that talk about a free virtual in-world phone okay right now it's giving out a landmark that takes you to an SL21B region. It's being updated as we speak, so you may never have that issue. But if you see um, that when you go to a kiosk, it's giving out the SL21B uh, location, it's supposed to be directing you to the Welcome Hub kiosk. That's where you can actually get the actual mobile phone. So there's a kiosk that's a five-sided pillar that is just outside the community exhibition area. See how I'm getting you over to the community exhibition while you're there? Um, that you can actually get this free virtual phone that's really cute. It changes to like five or six pictures. You look at it and hold it out instead of you know uh, you being old timey and sticking it next to your ear. I'm old timey I still stick it next to my ear sorry um, but it even does a typing or texting animation if you're typing in chat uh, while you're holding it so that is my blurb about the second life mobile back to you Wendy. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually second what you were saying I know that for myself um, uh, I've been a, a fairly long time second life user and it was just really exciting to um, actually see my avatar um, in home uh, in the palm of my hand. Um, certainly something that I never expected to see um, given just the gargantuan efforts of trying to to put Second Life into a mobile construct. Um, you know, and how for a number of years uh, 
both the lab and third parties have tried to make a, a strong, viable mobile project, and it's just proven to be such a huge project. And to finally actually have something like this out there um, and look as good as it does, it's just, it's very exciting to me. Absolutely, and um, I know as somebody who's been crying for mobile for a long, long time or talking about it, and now that I get to be in some of the meetings, some of the tools that are being talked about being added to mobile, of course, right now we got to bring parity for the mobile app to be up to most of what you can do, obviously, in the main viewer or a desktop or laptop viewer. But beyond that, some of the things that they're talking about adding, so that way you have some additive controls or functionality or whatnot when you can't get to your desktop uh, to do things is really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of tools, um, thank you for that wonderful segue, Izzy. Um, I try. Uh, you know, we talked about mobile, but another thing that's uh, uh, made a bit of a splash lately uh, is uh, physically based rendering or PBR. Um, it's actually been the official viewer for a while. Uh, it's now rolled out into uh, some of the more popular third party viewers. Um, uh, we've also recently started to expand on PBR a bit, uh, allowing for 2K textures, uh, providing a lot more clarity. Uh, mirrors uh, have been introduced, um, as well as um, PBR on Second Life Terrain. Um, it really, I think, adds a whole new dimension. Uh, to Second Life as a whole, uh, it certainly, you know, vastly improves the look of the land, um, amongst other things. And, of course, the rollout, let's recognize, has not been without some pain points, um, particularly for some third-party viewers, as well as for some of our Mac OS users. Um, Rest assured, our devs are aware they're working on optimization and also with macOS and memory issues. Um, PBR terrain on mainland uh, is actually something that is being figured out uh, so that we can move on that, but it's being worked on. Um, also, um, there's uh, yet more to come from our graphic updates. Uh, further bringing us up to better graphics than we've seen in Second Life before going forward. Expect more on that soon. Um, and yeah, I would recommend if you're having crash and burn problems, um, check your graphic settings, see if you can adjust some of it. Um, Definitely. Violet, um, oh, go ahead, Bundy. No, please go ahead. I just wanted to say that uh, there's a few things. Um, first of all, one of the great advantages about PBR Terrain is that it is much better about having the texture load once and used, you know, uh, when it's uh, you know widely used around to where it actually can save bandwidth rather than, um, you know, overwhelm it. Now, of course, it depends. You know, if you load a PBR 2K texture um, and you only use it in this one little area and you use lots of 2K textures all over the place, that's going to have an effect. Um, but uh, as we all learn and utilize um, all of this better, it's actually pretty cool the effects that it has uh, on performance. Um, PBR in general, there are some viewers that don't have the same default settings uh, that we have, so definitely talk to your third-party viewer about some of the uh, settings. There's also, I believe, a knowledge base article on our recommended settings um, that you might want to uh, look at because that has helped a lot of people get around some of the uh, problems. And I'm not bashing on third-party viewers in any way, shape, or form. It's just that, of course, when we release something, we look at our settings to try to make sure that it's the best for something, and that's different between each different uh, uh, third-party viewer. So as new features come out, we do you know, recommend tweaking settings uh, to get the best out of what is being available. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, it certainly is a challenge when you know you're looking at the, the various mobile view or various viewers and and all of that. 
100% understand. Patrick, I agree in that, you know, every time we come out and release something, there's always somebody that says that it's going to be the end of Second Life. You know, it was said about voice, it was said about mesh, it was said about all sorts of different things. And there will be, you know, niches of groups that don't want anything to do with that particular thing. And that's the glory and wonderfulness of Second Life is that if you don't like something, you can probably find a viewer or a setting or whatnot to not have it be in your Second Life. Um, personally, I say give everything that's new a try so that way you can go ahead and, uh, you know, play around and see it. But yes, resistance to change always happens with change, 100%. And Bunny, I love your, and I'm going to call it positivity, because I view that as Second Life won't end until a big meteor smashes into our planet. So I'm with you. And I would also add on, on that. Um, we have been through um, both us as Lindens and also residents, uh, any number of ends of Second Life over time. And absolutely, it's true. It's the end of Second Life at that time. Uh, and now we're in a new Second Life. Um, you know, everything changes and grows and becomes more amazing. Um, are we still in the Second Life of, you know, every build just being prim? Um, no, we're not. We're past that. Are we in the second life where everyone wears system clothing? No, we're not. Uh, we're in a different one now. Uh, change is just, it's a constant here, um, and it makes it what it is. One quick little add to that before Wendy moves on to another area that I'm sure everybody's going to be really interested in. To give you an idea of when the moles, the LDPW, were first introduced to uh, the PBR terrain, we were all laughing because we were all getting caught by trying to right click on a rock or this or that to kind of see, you know, how this particular prim was made. And then we're realizing it. What, they're not prims. This is actually just part of the terrain that looks so much like added uh, textures and whatnot uh, to it. Um, and that it was so real that it was fooling us initially when we were first exposed to it. So it, it's really beautiful. I wasn't there, but I've done that too, Izzy. I'm glad that I'm not the first to admit it. <laughs> Oh, and we're actually prepping up the Combat 2.0 region, so more to come on that soon. Well, yes. Um, hopefully very soon on that. I should probably talk about that, but first I'm going to talk about uh, WebRTC Voice. Um, I don't know how many of you are aware of that coming. I know we talked about it very briefly on that. Um, but yeah, also in the pop pop pipeline is our move to WebRTC Voice. Um, that will replace our current VVox voice system. That's going to provide us with uh, a more secure voice system, greater features, and probably more importantly, uh, better auto, audio quality. Um, I would put it in on par with, say, what you might hear on Discord, something like that. Um, and, and a bit like the GLTF PBR enhancements we just talked about, uh, you can actually play with uh, with uh, WebRTC Voice now. Uh, you don't have to wait for for it to fully roll out. It is in uh, on the beta grid. Uh, you can download an early public access viewer for it at. And then you go to the WebRTC1 or WebRTC2 regions on the beta grid. You can play with that. Um, it still requires a certain amount of, I mean, it's, it's, it's a separate processing on it, but it's, I'd say it's more in. Um, check out the wiki page there. Um, read a little bit more on it. Um, 
You could also breed a bit more of it on our end at that link. Uh, not this month. Well, this is July still, so no. Um, but I know they're trying to get uh, get some stuff going on this grid for it maybe next month. So, yeah, soon. You know, you never know how things are going to end up working out, but hopefully very soon. And another thing that I wanted to bring up to everybody uh, was uh, we had a recent change uh, end of last month to our Helios Casino, uh, or otherwise known as our Social Casino. Um, it, we had our third phase launch party in the end of June. Everyone had an amazing time. We had over 300 uh, visitors to the casino, and it was really hopping along with an amazing lounge act by both Patch Linden and Abner Mole. Uh, the casino now has video poker, leaderboards, and something that was asked about uh, tremendously, and we'd always planned to do it, but we didn't have it in the initial uh, instance, uh, is now you can trade your chips in uh, for uh, various prizes. So now there's something to do with those uh, chips that you win. And that is the link to the Helios Casino, just to make sure everybody has it. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And I'll tell you, my favorite, favorite thing about being a Linden in uh, Second Life is getting to hang out with you guys. Well, this actually, Bunny, isn't a casino casino because you can get free chips and you don't actually win money. It's a completely different uh, system um, to where you can't cash out chips or anything like that. It's literally just for entertainment purposes. Think of it kind of like going to some restaurants. I'm not going to name any particular one, but you can go to some. Yes, it's play, play money. Uh, some restaurants you can go to and you buy a card that has a certain amount of game tokens or whatever on it that you can go ahead and play with. And you get tickets for playing games and you can then cash those tickets in for uh, prizes and stuff. Well, in this one, you get chips and chips can be traded in for prizes and such. But people have been really, really excited about the leaderboards, too. Yes, indeed. Uh, I have played a bit of it there myself. I want one of those Anubis boopies. Mm -hmm. So do you guys have any questions for us? Please, by all means. Go ahead and uh, either verbalize them or throw them in uh, chat, your preference. And Elliot, it looks like you were first if you want to. Um, are, are, is that question about us upgrading the textures in, on the mainland to a PBR standard? Um, the answer is no, yes, and maybe. Um, there's a lot of care that's going on because we don't want to drastically change um, the way the mainland looks. Um, what I would assume the most common answer, there are going to be some that aren't going to change because they're so classic and wanting to be, you know, uh, maintained. Um, but the ones that see the most change, I believe, are going to be more of uh, PBRifying, if I can say it that way. Um, the existing uh, textures that are there. We don't want to completely change what you view as your area you quote unquote grew up in uh, and change, you know, the look and feel of everything. Um, so it's it's going to be on a case by case basis, and it's still a ways out uh, before we hit that. Obviously, we're going to need to do more optimization work and stuff before we start throwing it everywhere on the mainland. Yeah, Hopefully but I know it's certainly, 
Yeah, and I just just to to kind of double onto that. Yeah, we certainly wouldn't want to, you know, if you have say a land in this, you know, in the snowlands, uh, we certainly wouldn't want to come through there and make that a beach uh, right. or anything like that. You know, we want to make sure that it matches the look and feel that's there already, rather than trying to to make a drastic change. Uh, so it probably will be sim at least very similar to what's there. And, you know, who knows, there may be some historical areas we might not want to touch, that kind of thing. Um, but there's a lot of consideration that's going into this. We don't want to uh, plow ahead and make a mistake if we can help it. Yeah, we look at, you know, what's the most we can do? What's the least we can do? What, uh, how will this affect things? How will that affect things before we choose a particular path? And especially with this, because the mainland is so diversified, there won't probably be one uh, answer to the question. And Ellie, you can always send in a uh, a support ticket, or you know, if you have a specific you want to talk about here. Uh, but you can always send a support ticket, and we'll take a look at it. Um, that's at support.secondlife.com. Uh, also, uh, consider the feedback portal. Um, you know, for some of this as well. That's absolutely. at feedback.secondlife.com. Uh, we absolutely would like to hear and have your voice as part of this conversation. Violet, I believe you had a question. Oh, there you go. Uh, Violet, it's gone back and forth. Um, we definitely have large sailing areas, um, and we've talked about connecting them with uh, water areas. Um, so, sometimes it's done, sometimes it hasn't really been considered in certain areas. Um, so I would definitely suggest uh, submitting a request or putting in a feedback um, uh, uh, request uh, for it because that's the way that we're going to find the areas that are most interested in doing that. I mean, we obviously can't fill in all the areas between all regions with water regions, but if we get reports that a lot of people want more sailing in this particular area, that empowers us and informs our decisions. Yeah, I know that we have um, a project in the works right now. Uh, it's actually a road project, but I think there's a little bit of extra water on it uh, going on on Sansara. Um, so, and that's that's largely born out of discussions on the feedback portal. Um, so, yes, by all means, um, go to feedback.secondlife.com and. Um, Fill out the form there. Give us as much information as you can. Um, other users can also uh, provide context and feedback on your request um, and can vote on it. Um, and that helps us uh, move forward on it, not only to see an interest, but to also see everyone's thoughts of what might work best for it. Um, and, you know, it helps us move forward on it. Um, it's an extremely useful tool uh, for all of us. Absolutely. We are actually, I was actually just talking with some engineers about um, how we're going to utilize PBR, or use water in a PBR world. So. Uh, that is definitely on our minds, not only in how water is going to, or sorry, how PBR is going to affect the regular water there, but also prim water. So it's definitely on our minds. Iva, I know that has been looked at. Um in the past, but it ended up getting, I don't want to say sidetracked, but there were other uh, issues that took precedence. But I would strongly recommend poking on that again um, on feedback um, because, yeah, I think that a lot of people would like a much brighter moon. Um, I agree Agreed. with you on it. So. Uh, 
Uh, Darkover, there is more stuff coming on that that I can't talk about yet, but it, that's definitely been recognized, and there are some really cool things that are coming down the pipe uh, that'll make that tremendously better. Yeah, I desperately want to share my screen and show some things, but I'm not allowed yet. How dare you? Nope. <laughs> I want to be here for the next meeting. It's interesting, Akaros. I know that uh, we have been doing some work on uh, Blue Steel uh, with Combat 2.0 stuff, and if I remember correctly, Blake C is on Blue Steel, so that might be something to provide some feedback on. I know I sound like a broken record there, but um, I'd like to see that get looked at, and I will also pass that on myself. There is some work going on. I mean, I'm not... There's, there is the server user group, which is probably the better for answering that question. But yeah, I know there is some some work going on under the hood as far as region crossing stuff. Uh, nothing that's that's rolled out yet. It's all it's all being worked out on beta. But um, now is probably a good time to give some feedback on that. Definitely. Uh, Rascal, yes, um, you can do that via a land and region ticket. Um, or you can even contact um, concierge via live chat, or and they'll be able to help. I suspect Bunny would be the first one to tell on me. <laughs> Bunny, if you want to find uh, the discarded, uh, actually you want to look around, uh, uh, I think it's Luna Brink, Luna Shores, one of those regions over there. Control those waters carefully. <laughs> Any other uh, questions uh, folks have? I promise I won't answer all of them with use the feedback portal. Honest. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Totally. Oh, that's a that's a big question, and that's one I know that we don't have an answer for. Um, that would be for the for the simulator group. Ellie, uh, dark over the rules between moderate and adult are very interesting and kind of eye of the beholder. Um, it would in I would. Err on the side of no, it wouldn't be allowed on a moderate region, but there are certain things that somebody might call a sex club that might be. Um, but that's something that is going to evolve over time as Second Life goes more and more spicy. And I would also add to that that, boy, this sounds like what I just said. Um, we're not a governance meeting, um, and 
I don't know about Izzy, but I have never been trained uh, by the governance team, so we can really only kind of give uh, a general feedback on moderate region, sex club, et cetera, um, because it's not really something that, that we're well versed on. Exactly. Uh, and you know, and even okay. if I was positive that it was one way or another, a member of the governance team can trump me uh, on that. They have the final say on what is and what wasn't. So, And Darkover, submit an abuse report on it. Uh, if it's in a moderate region, then you don't think that it uh, qualifies to be there. My suggestion would also be to go to the Second Life maturity page, look at what it says has to be in an adult uh, uh, specific maturity region, and in your abuse report, point out the things that you see in that particular place that are listed as needing to be in an adult region. Well, Ellie, profiles shouldn't be adult at all. So that, exactly, you should um, go ahead and that's another thing that you can report uh, if you see something, especially if you see something egregious. Any other questions, uh, specific ability to land and concierge uh, concerns? And Darkover, here's the link to the knowledge base about profiles uh, that actually says here that it must be general and must obey terms of service and community standards for profiles. Do we have any other questions that anybody wants to ask or put up for discussion? Feel free, Ellie. Yeah, you know, I'm always I'm always willing willing to hear uh, questions in advance. I've certainly taken them in the past. And the agenda is any, any land or concierge related concerns and questions. So uh, go ahead and send them to me uh, if you want. Um, you can send them to me in a note card or instant message, um, your preference. Um, sorry, uh, Ellie, I'm, I'm Wendy.
I've met Izzy, and I'm pretty sure I'm not him. Aw. Well, you're you. We're so similar, though. We're interchangeable. There you go. No other questions today? Absolutely our pleasure. Wendy, it looks like we might be ending a little bit early today. Maybe. Lucas, I've actually heard that discussion, so I don't know any kind of time frame, but it is definitely on people's mind. I would also add to that that um, uh, we do have event regions that yes. do uh, go above the uh, 100 agent limit. I believe uh, 175 is the max on those, something yep, yep. like that. So so we do have some regions that can do that, um, and, and yeah. TBD otherwise. It's actually surprisingly not bad, Nibble. Um, I was actually uh, at some of the original testing on that, and we tried pushing a little bit higher uh, than that, and it was still pretty good, but did lead to some instability issues, so we had to, had to limit it. But um, it was remarkably good, even with that many people on an event region. Uh, certainly, we just had SLB, and that was on event regions, um, and worked quite well. I've been on the event regions also, and it's amazing what we can do with them. It's a far cry from the days when uh, having 20,000 people on an, on a Sunday would crash Second Life entirely. Um, it's a good point, Dark Over. Violet, I offer you this challenge. Um, sail from the Sarcotopia region uh, to the Blake Sea, China region. It is possible. It's a very long trip. Ellie, that's a good question. I know there used to be a history wiki, um, but I'm not sure if that's still around anymore. Um, but uh, you know, there is certainly history out there on the web, um, but I'll take a look, see if we can't do some more on our wiki as well, because I'm keen. Izzy had to, had to pop out. He had something come up, so you're stuck with me for a couple minutes. Absolutely. Um, and, and Lord Lucas, yes, absolutely. Um, 
I've seen a couple of events lately where everything is held up so much better than it would have at one point. Anything else this week before we wrap up? Sure thing. You're absolutely welcome. Uh, we are typically here uh, fourth Wednesday at noon. Uh, also, the same venue is where we hold the governance uh, meetings and also uh, the occasional other meeting is here. So uh, we look forward to seeing you. Um, and it's always wonderful to get a chance to do this. So thank you all for being here. Much appreciated. Have a wonderful second life.